This video outlines the various settings and options available for treads and risers in the Stair Settings dialog of ARCHICAD. Let's activate the Stair Settings dialog. Here we can find a hierarchical tree structure of stair sub-elements on the left pane. The Finish page contains settings that affect both treads and risers. Beneath it in the tree structure, you will also find tread-specific and riser-specific settings pages. By unchecking and checking the Finish checkbox of the Finish page, you can hide and show, respectively, all finishes of the stair. In other words, both treads and risers, so only the structure of the stair is generated. If you check the Uniform Finish on Flight Landing checkbox, flights and landings will all have the same finishes. If the checkbox is unchecked, you will see that the finish level of the tree structure on the left now contains separate items for flight and landing treads and flight and landing risers, so the appearance and geometry of each can be specified separately. For both flights and landings, you can specify that only treads are to be generated. Only risers are to be generated. Or both treads and risers are to be generated. The settings pages of treads and risers are similar in composition and in the settings available. In the top panel, you can always select the GDL object you want to use for the tread or riser. A preview window will show what the tread or riser will look like in the generated stair. For treads, you can specify a tread thickness, tread gap, and tread overhang value. While for risers, you can specify a riser thickness, and a riser gap value. When the riser on tread checkbox is checked, the back of the treads will extend to the back of the riser so that the risers sit on top of the treads as indicated by the illustration in the settings page. If the checkbox is unchecked, the bottom surfaces of risers and treads will be at the same level and treads butt up against risers. Both treads and risers have a component settings page, which displays settings offered by the specific GDL object selected for the tread or riser, respectively. For example, treads may have settings for nosing, as well as a selection of nosing profiles, or the option to generate milled recesses into the top surface of the tread, the option to generate non-slip bands on the top of the tread, as well as settings to define the 3D representation of treads. The number and extent of available options and settings always depends on the GDL object selected for the tread component. Custom stair treads may be modeled and saved, or scripted to offer geometric capabilities for treads. Similarly, risers offer various settings, such as riser reveal capabilities, as well as settings to define the 3D representation of risers. Custom stair riser may also be modeled and saved or scripted to offer additional geometric capabilities for risers.